The following video may not be suitable for children 13 and under. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel, Edu Tommy here, and today we're going to take a look at Irons Factory's Hammer of Morax for their version of Kill Bison from Victory. So this is the other leg. We've already done a video on uh, the previous figure, and um, the name is slipping my mind right now when I'm recording the video, but uh, it was a pretty easy transformation, and uh, yeah, not much to it. Uh, what was his freaking name? Oh God, I don't know. Something Rhino. But anyway... Uh, turns into a tank. It's the right leg. Uh, and I think the next one we're getting is the lower waist. Which one is that one? Jaligar? I think, Jaligar? I think that's right. But this is IFEX 69. So, standard packaging you see before. Here's Iron Factory 2024. Flip it around and you'll see a combiner here. So, yeah, we've got uh, this one here. This is the one we're doing. And I think the waist is the next one. The waist one looks really cool. So you got uh, different armor, comes with the spear, different weapons, and combined that comes with pieces to form a larger weapon. So uh, we won't actually go over the transformation. I think what you should do is go see my friend Kato's video on transformation. He did a good, good, really good job on it, actually uh, showing the part on where legs, where you have to like bend them. So definitely want to follow that. Uh, we're just going to, look at each mode individually and just you know I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a recommendation most stuff i've ever gotten from iron factory has been a recommendation i kind of stayed away from the samurai stuff because never didn't hear too much good about it but most of their stuff otherwise has been pretty good so that's it for the packaging let's open it up take a look at the figure and all the accessories all right let's take a look at accessories and uh you yeah, know this guy's a member of my favorite team the breath force fantastic uh, here's the same gun as the previous version. Man, I'm going to have to go look on like Google down because I can't remember the freaking other one I did's name. And it's irritating me. But anyway, this one has got some red paint on it. Looks pretty good. Comes with his little creature here. Uh, yeah, got some silver paint, red right there. Transforms. Uh, and then you can fold this up and use it as a different chest plate. So basically you just fold the arms up. Fold the head up and plug this into the chest uh, like that. And then like the arm flip over. So uh, I kind of leave these guys separate because I, I kind of like them, you know, having them in the background. Because I'm going to combine it and put it in the uh, in the combined mode anyway. So uh, neat little guy here. Very tiny. Hard to tell you actually how small this guy is. Here's some tweezers. So I don't know if that gives you any relation, but very small. Very cool though. Fit that guy right there. We come with the same spear we got in the previous one. Uh, right there, we got silver paint, black plastic. Looks pretty good. All right, the uh, next thing is the end of the combiner weapon. Looks like a big hammer. Black plastic, we've got different plug-ins. We've got a handle here with um, different joints. So, you know, not sure how all that's gonna work in yet because we got to get everything together. But I think you can. Can you plug that in like that? Nope. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I, maybe in destructions, but uh, there's more to it. And then that's it for the accessories. Drill horn. Drill horn is the previous spot. So this is Kill Bison. So here he is. Uh, got kind of a pink visor and silver paint. It's a tank. Uh, the silver looks really, really good. They did a good job. That looks nice. Uh, so we've got kind of a tan here. Uh, also, it comes with some different hands. I don't know if I showed that part. Go over all those. We've got closed hands. We've got the hands for uh, folding in and adding different things. And then we've got the grasping hand. So they come in a baggie. Uh, we'll also show the combiner leg here. Comes in. Nice silver paint. Tan. Got the treads on the side. This is just like drill horns. You plug it on the side. Uh, I like the way they're doing this. They're not trying to figure out how to make this bot combine. They, they're 
parts for them in it. And I think that makes sense. They've done this before and they've made good combiners. They did the uh, DJD one. They also did the Bruticas years before and they seem to do a real good job combiner. So I like the way they do that. Anyway, back to here to uh, this fella. And then I've got silver paint here and here. Got some kind of orange paint here, silver down there. Articulation. I like the head sculpt on this guy. He can ball joint. He can look all around. We've got a shoulder here. Arm will rotate around. Uh, he got bicep rotation. Does more than 90. The hand here will rotate. This is a closed fist. Uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, we got the cannon on the back. So he's got an ab crunch. He also has waist rotation there. Just remind you that the cannon is on the back, and that's kind of going to be in the way a little bit. Uh, I uh, got a flap here so they can go up like that all the way up all the way at the side and then the back is going to be limited because it's black back panel uh, and then you know you got thigh cut here right there on that joint that looks good and then you got more than 90 knee and then you've got toe up and down you've got a rocker yeah pretty much anything you'd want to do with this guy uh Kill Bison, and the names are killing me here, uh, is good. He looks good all the way around. The tank treads are in the back. Uh, the guns look really, really nice. Would have been cool to have like some kind of effect uh, for shooting them, but really, at the end of the day, this guy's going to go combine into tank mode, and we're going to rock and roll him onto the, the leg right here. Let me let me take a second just to talk about the leg here a little bit more. Um, it's articulated, but... When you combine it in tank mode, you just plug it in here and it just fits in. I hope it does better than drill horn. Drill horn gave me some issues plugging it in. I finally eventually got it, but it worked. So there it is. The gunmetal paint on the treads here looks good. This silver, you know, you got a toe here. Uh, you got a heel spur that holds it in. This is really well done. I mean, you know, I think nobody else is going to do Lyle Kaiser. Uh, you know, why well, don't understand Legends companies, uh, you know, like new age and stuff. I don't know why they really haven't dipped in the continuity. Uh, Japan, I love that stuff. I wish they would do Raiden. Uh, the Master Force is really the stuff I like. Uh, you know, I know DX9 did Double Dealer, and they're working on the uh, the Headmaster. So I'm gonna probably go in on those guys just because, uh, you know, I really like that that line. So you know, I wish more companies would do that sort of thing. Uh, new Age surprised me that they haven't like really kind of went out. Uh, they've done a few things here and there with like uh, Beast Wars and stuff like that, and Prime. They did Bulkhead, but really they don't they don't step outside, uh, you know, the original first couple of seasons. And they don't really do, you know, you know, different things like that. Um, I wish they would. But anyway, talking about Iron Factor, yeah, this is cool. Uh, let's take a look at the tank mode. We'll go ahead and transform it. We'll be right back and take a look at this guy. All right, so the transformation um, was pretty simple. Kato didn't, I uh, went back and looked at it. Kato kind of shows here the leg thing. So what you want to do is make sure you pop these two pieces up when you just push the leg in. Everything else is pretty simple. It's kind of standard iron factory transformation. The turret rotates. The barrels go up and down individually. Um, I don't think you can remove the turret, can you? But it's on a hinge, so you could also do... This. I wonder was this mold ever used for brawn? I'm kind of wondering about that now. Um, but there you go. Looks pretty clean. Uh, these front pieces you can kind of do however you want to. I just got them kind of. I don't know if that's exactly perfect, but that's the way I like it. Uh, the turret rotates and moves around, so nice, nicely articulated. So uh, basically, you just fold out the panel, fold the hands in, take the legs. Uh, these pieces here on a hinge, they rotate around, so nothing too hard. Uh, the only thing I would say is do, do absolutely make sure when you're pushing these legs up that you take this white panel and pop it up to slide them in. Or you're probably going to break it. So don't do that. But yeah, it looks good in tank mode, man. Uh, the barrels look good. The silver paint looks good with the white. Uh, the treads look good. So they did a really, really good job. So far, I'm very pleased with the two figures they've released from the line. And then the next one looks pretty interesting too. Actually, it's like a Jeep type thing with rockets on it or something like that. So very nice. Here's the back of it. Cleans up pretty good. So that's pretty much it for the tank. All right, so now I'm going to 
show you what is involved in plugging into the leg. I don't think it should be too hard. This actually went to be together better, uh, a lot better in drill horn. This was much easier transformation. So uh, I liked it. So check it out. All right, so plugging the leg on this one was easier. And a, some minor nitpicks here. Um, so this, I gotta get this leg here to go down further and go in. So this leg will go up, there we go. That's better. Uh, so here it is, the tank plugged in on the side. I'm not a fan particularly of the way they both have the treads kind of hanging off the side here. And it also recommends removing the uh, cannons. So I don't see why not, why I can't just run with the cannons on here. So I'm gonna plug them in and see. I don't see what the problem would be, uh, you know. I'd rather have it looking like that, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, I, I think the bottom of these feet are kind of going to get it in the way of the leg. So it's like they're hinged in there to not, but uh, I'll work on that. That isn't that big a deal. But yeah, for some reason, they want you to take the, the cannons off and it's showing it here in the instructions. But no cannon. So, you know, maybe that's accurate to the original or whatever, but... If I can run the cannons, I'm going to. I don't really care. But yeah, this one was much easier to transform. It was much easier to get on the peg and everything. It just snapped right in. So I'm very pleased with this one. Uh, I mean, drill horn had a few issues to me, just the transformation, trying to get it to, to stay perfectly, perfectly straight and get everything tabbed together. And then plug it on the leg, it was a pain. I eventually got it, but it was not easy. This one went right on. So. There it is, uh, Iron Factory's version of Kill Bison. Uh, easy transformation, gonna be a cool combiner, and I can't wait to get the next one. So uh, definitely check it out, Iron Factory. Thanks for watching the video, I do appreciate it. If you're interested in the channel, please hit that subscribe button. If you're also interested in becoming a member, link below in the description. I did pick this up from Toy Dojo, they had it available. Uh, so got it from there. Thanks for watching. See you later.